Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Springfield Armory XDMs. So before we dive into the Springfield Armory XDM 177 caliber BB guns, let's talk a little bit about the history of the XDM and the firearm itself. Now we have a 9mm here. This is actually mine. Uh, this is the first firearm I ever purchased. So right when I turned 21, this is what I decided to buy. And the XDM came out in 2007 and really uh, appealed to a lot of shooters because it had nice ergonomics. Uh, a lot of nice features packed in and the M really is the important part here because Springfield already had the XD line, but the M meant more. Not only was it a match grade barrel and some other features that weren't present on the XDs, but you also got more stuff with the gun, which was really cool. You got a holster, mag pouch, uh, loader assist, you got a bunch of magazines with it, and of course the ability to change back straps, sizing and all that really aided in the ergonomic features that the XDM possessed. And now Air Venturi and Springfield Armory have done a really nice job of incorporating a lot of those details into the air guns, which are awesome now. These are 177 caliber blow back repeaters, uh, CO2 powered, of course, drop free magazines. You got a lot of nice features packed in. And uh, honestly, guys, when you hold this thing, these two guns side by side, there are not a lot of differences. Uh, it's really quite incredible to see, to be very honest with you. Uh, this is about as close as it gets as far as replicas go, and really is the way the market is trending, which is really cool to see. On all of your Springfield Armory XDMs, you're going to find front and rear slide serrations that are nice and deep, easy to get a hold of. You're also going to find an ambidextrous magazine release, as well as a enlarged slide release, which is really easy to get a hold of. And that's an addition to your takedown lever for going ahead and removing the slide from your frame. Then on the right hand side of the pistol, we'll start with our trigger safety. Now this is one of a few safeties on the gun. Uh, you also have your replaceable back straps there, uh, interchangeable amongst three sizes. You'll notice some nice grip texturing on those back straps as well as the rest of the frame. And of course your accessory rail for your lights, lasers, and other accessories. And embedded in the accessory rail, you do have a lockout safety in case you want to, you know, completely lock out the pistol and make everything 100% safe. And then can't forget about those sights. We have a two white dot rear sight uh, that matches up really nicely with a bright red fiber optic front sight. Uh, very easy to get your eyes on. And then dropping down below that, we do have our cocking indicator there at the back of the slide, as well as our grip safety. Now that we've taken a look at some of the closer up details of the XDM line here, let's talk about one other thing uh, before we get to loading CO2 and BBs that you don't see quite often on the BB guns. Now, when the XDM came out, one of the reasons it was really popular was the ergonomic ability to tailor the gun to fit your hand. And that really came in with these adjustable back straps. And a lot of companies have since followed suit with similar features. Uh, I have the medium back strap on here as well, but the full size will come with a small and a large very easy to change out. You just pop a pin out here at the back, slide the new one in, and you put, replace the pin, you're good to go. Now you guys will notice that the 3.8 compact here has a few more things with it, and that's because you not only get the three corresponding back straps, that small, medium, and large back strap replacement, but you also get that small, medium, and large grip back strap kind of enhancement there to give you a full grip on the pistol. So a uh, really nice feature creates basically the same grip profile as our 4.5 millimeter standard size. Uh, and the other nice thing I should notice here about that as well, these grip extensions slide on and off really easily. And if you do buy a 4.5 and a 3.8, the magazines can be used in both. Now that we got that out of the way, let's take a look at how to load up CO2 and BBs into the magazine. Now to load CO2 into the XDM magazines, you're going to find this follower here on the bottom of the mag and you're going to pull that down or I guess towards the top of the magazine and then you're just going to slide the base plate right off of it and that'll expose your piercing cap here. You're going to take the included Allen key, insert it in and go ahead and twist that on out. Now that we have that exposed, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of Pelgun oil here on our CO2 cartridge. Just a drop will do. Go ahead, drop that on into the magazine like so. Very easy. Now we're just going to replace the piercing cap. Very simple. And as we've done in the past, once you get it close, I like to use the short end of the Allen key here to kind of get that extra torque. 
And I don't know if you guys heard it, but it just pierced. This is a pretty quiet one. Uh, you don't hear too much when you're loading it up, which I like, uh, but a very heavy full metal magazine. You're just gonna go ahead, kind of slide that uh, base plate back onto the mag and press it until you get that pin popping through. And now we're good to load BBs. Now to load BBs, you'll notice that the XDM is a really small follower tab here. Um, they include this uh, kind of loading assist tool that you can slide in, pop down there, and then like use it to pull it down, I guess. Um, it works okay. I haven't had any problems with it. And if you get it kind of like that, it'll, it'll hold itself in place. Um, but honestly, I'd, I'd really like to see that tab bigger. And uh, from what I've heard, Air Venturi is actually already addressing this, so that's good. Um, but we got what we got, so we're going to use this here. And then once you get it kind of pulled down to that opening, you can go ahead and load your BBs in. Now, these are 20 round magazines, so a nice, uh, good capacity there. So once you have the mag loaded up till you're content, whether that's full 20 rounds or less than, no big deal there, you're going to go ahead, just kind of let that go up and then kind of pop the follower assist out. Very easy to do. Uh, and now we're good to go. We're going to go ahead, get this mag loaded up into our XDM and head out to the range. All right, so what we're gonna attempt to show you guys is the recoil difference. Now, as far as replicas go, I gotta say the Springfield Armory XDM does have one of the most realistic recoils I've felt to date, but it's never gonna be anywhere close to the firearm, guys. This is a nine millimeter variant of the XDM here, shooting 115 grain full metal jacket bullets. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, you guys will see it in the slow-mo there, how much it's displacing my wrists, just how much the range of movement is. I think you'll be surprised that the range of movement on the slides is actually almost identical, which will be really cool to see. Um, but again, you're never gonna replace that realistic firearms recoil, but this is probably one of the closest I felt. Like I said, let's shoot them and see what you think. All right, so looking over our groups at seven yards, kind of a typical self-defense distance with the XDM. Uh, with the Umarek Steel BBs, a 1.7 inch group, not great, guys. Uh, getting a little bit better as we go, though. The Air Venturi Steels, 1.5 inches, so we're seeing some steady improvement as we narrow down our selection. Smart Shots were 1.3 inches and obviously a little lower on the target there. I was kind of adjusting my hold to compensate as best I could, but it's kind of hard when you want to hold that consistent group from the first shot to the last. Hornady Black Diamonds, just over an inch, 1.1 there, not bad. We're certainly seeing that improvement. Crossman Copperheads, our first group under an inch at seven yards, 0.8 for all 10 shots. Uh, but the Daisy Match BBs, holy cow, half an inch, 10 shots at seven yards, awesome accuracy. So with our best grouping BB, the Daisy Match BBs, we went ahead and put a fresh CO2 cartridge in. We getting around 50 to 60 good shots before we felt that recoil come off uh, of the XDM, you know, before you feel it really start to lose some of its blow back there. And then around shot 70 to 75, somewhere in that mix, we really saw it die out completely. So about 60 to 65 good shots out of the XDM. All right, let's wrap up the Springfield Armory XDM 4.5 BB pistol here. So overall, we're looking at about 60 to 70 good shots in the 320 to 330 feet per second range with steel BBs, of course. 
uh, and half inch accuracy at seven yards. This thing's going to be able to do whatever you want it to do from an you know training perspective or plinking in the backyard. This thing's got it going for sure. Uh, a couple gripes I'll start with here. Uh, the follower in the magazine. I love the big heavy metal magazine. I hate this little dinky tiny follower uh, and their little loader assist doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. With that said, like I said before, they are uh, likely going to be increasing the size of this follower. So hopefully it is uh, way more user friendly than it is now. Uh, the only other gripe I have on the gun here is the top of the barrel has shown some excessive wear. You'll get a little bit on your firearms, uh, but not anything to this level. With that said, not a huge deal. Doesn't affect the functionality at all. Uh, and honestly, guys, this thing fits the bill as far as owning up to the firearm. Uh, probably better or as good as anything else I've seen to this point. Uh, really love the red fiber optic front sight. Uh, works very, very well for my eyes personally. All of your controls are exactly the same as your standard XDMs, which are awesome to see. Uh, and really the realism factor here is a big selling point for me as an XDM owner myself. For those of you interested in checking out more about the Springfield Armory XDM line of pistols, go over to PyramidAir.com and give it a look. Uh, for The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you at the next one.